control plane and as on if you are working on optical fiber network as a field engineer or nms or knock engineer you might be worked on control plane and as on or you heard about this one and you wrote in your resume and in a interview when interviewer ask what is control plane and gmpls you might say that i know i worked on that and you say g control plane is used in a zone for automatic switching i agree with you but actually interviewer looking for more detail so here i am going to discuss five important question that might become in your next intro or help to increase your existing knowledge what is control plane and fair control plane configured for control plane let's have a look this is your network element present which are connecting with fiber and you have a network management system and all this and you are connecting to nms so these nms are lays under transport plane and nms in management plane and control plane is configured on any and it's in between the both the layer transport and management plane it's communicate with both like a sandwich so here second question is where control plane configured control plane configured at n level and a nms managed both control plane and non control plane and next is what is asone asone is automatically switched optical network the nms which belongs to control plane are comes under asone network so we can say asone is a network architecture that maximize the advantage of control plane next is how control plane work in control plane set of protocols are running that we called as gmpls protocol gmpls that is generalized multi protocol level switching this is derived from mpls protocol which was introduced to speed up ip network in mpls routing is done on input and output level and packet forward using level switching gmpls is evolution of mpls for transport network to speed up sdh dwdm and otn network routing what are the gmpls protocol OSPF that is open shortest path first it's used for routing purpose to exchange the topology information between each node like in this diagram a node has link between a to b and a to c similar node b has and node c has all these nodes store the information is database and shared with each other to calculate the shortest path so that control plane can find the shortest path next is rsvp that is resource reservation protocol it's used for signaling purpose for level distribution and resource reservation the last we have lmp that is link management protocol that is used to maintain the neighbor discovery and to control the neighbor channels i hope this video was helpful please write your feedback in comment and don't miss to subscribe the channel